Now, let's move to a new topic that is synthesis of the amino acids. So, amino acids, they are the initial products of the nitrogen assimilation. Most plants can assimilate nitrates as well as ammonium ions. Ammonium ion, it is used for the synthesis of amino acids in the plants and then after amino acids are being synthesized, then only the proteins can be synthesized. So what can be the two processes for this synthesis? First is reductive amination. Ammonia reacts with the ketoglutaric acid to form the glutaric acid, the first process. Alpha ketoglutaric acid, it is converted into glutaric acid. The second is transamination. It involves the transfer of the amino group of one amino acid to the keto group of the keto acid by the transaminase enzyme. So first amino acid it is getting converted or it is getting transferred to the um, keto acid another group. Glutamic acid it is the main amino acid from which the transfer of the NH2 group from the amino group which is takes place and other 17 amino acids are formed through the transamination. Talking about the amides, amide contains more nitrogen than the amino acids and are the structural part of most proteins. Amides are double aminated keto acids such as aspergine and the glutamine. They are formed from two amino acids namely aspartic acid and the glutamic acid respectively by the addition of another amino group to each. The hydroxyl part of the acid it is replaced by another NH2 radical. Such amides contain more nitrogen than the amino acids. They are transported to other parts of the plant via the xylem vessels. So since they are produced, the amino acids are produced, so they can be easily transported by the xylem vessels. In addition, along with the transpiration stream, the nodules of some plants, that is for example the leguminous plants like soya bean, export the fixed nitrogen as ureids also. These compounds have particularly high nitrogen to carbon ratio.